Netflix has shown their love for vampires and vampire series, and the upcoming First Kill teen vampire drama series is proof of that. Over the last couple of months, the series has been hyped, so we joined in, and we're here to tell you that the hype is real, and we'll tell you just why you should be excited about First Kill. Enjoy! Introduction After the few releases from the vampire genre on the Netflix streaming platform, the juggernaut started working on its original content, focusing on the undead, including the likes of Vampires v Wars, Dracula Immortals, and Vampires vs. the Bronx are just a few of their successful shows that are very popular on Netflix. And while not all of them were hits, the network hasn't thrown in the towel on blockbusters yet, and in October 2020, they announced a brand new young adult vampire series called First Kill. And ever since, the order of this queer vampire series happened, our dark and creepy hearts have never been more than ready, 2020 has been a year that saw vampires come back to life, we're looking at you, Midnight Sun, and Netflix is showing no signs of stopping or slowing down in pace. The show First Kill is based on a short story with the same name written by Victoria V. E. Schwab. First published in September 2020 in the anthology Vampires Never Get Old, Tales with Fresh Bite, after that, the whole crew who'll be working on the series was announced, as well as almost all of the main cast members, and fans went spiraling, waiting impatiently to watch the series when it comes out. And today, right up next, we're going to tell you why you should be excited about the series, but also some facts and details about it that will make the series the best vampire series ever done. Now we're bringing our favorite authors into your living room. I'm Kara Price. And I'm Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts is the executive producer. Starting with the crew behind the series, the ones who'll make this whole thing happen, Emma Roberts, most famous for her role in We're the Midders and her other appearances in the likes of Scream Queens and American Horror Story, is set to executive produce the new series. This will also be her first venture since giving birth to her son, Rhodes, back in December 2020. She'll be joined by three other executive producers who'll work for her hand-in-hand -hand with her, Cara Priest, Emma's partner at Bellatrix Productions, Felicia D. Henderson, who's also co-writing the series, and author of the series, Victoria Schwab, also stepping in, so the crew is stacked already without even knowing the others who will operate from behind the curtains. Sarah Catherine, Hook, and Imani Lewis will star. The two lead roles in the series will be played by the star of The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, Sarah Catherine Hook will take on the role of Juliet, the vampire with the desires of her first ever kill, and Imani Lewis from 8th grade will star as Kelio Burns, the new girl on the block who's also a vampire hunter. Additional cast members include Aubin Wise as Talia, Dominic Goodman as Apollo, Jason Robert Moore as Jack, Elizabeth Mitchell as, as Margaret, Gracie Desaini as Eleanor Will Swenson as Sebastian, and Dylan McNamara as Oliver a well-packed cast group that has a lot of experience both in the genre of the series but also in different narrative projects, all collected to give everything they have got for the series and make it the best one yet. <laughs> What's funny about that, Riley? I don't know. Just the way he said well, it. How did he say it? <laughs> Elizabeth Mitchell Elizabeth Mitchell, despite taking on roles in projects like Frequency and Nurse Betty, the people around the globe mostly know her for her role as Juliet on ABC's hit series, Lost. Who can forget that agonizing death scene when she detonates the bomb and sends the survivors back to 2007? We know we can, can you? And after the show ended in May 2010, Elizabeth has appeared on a few television series such as V, Revolution, Once Upon a Time, and Dead of Summer, but her fans have been hoping for a long time to see her in a project like this, a TV show which will propel her back into the spotlight, taking on more and more roles in the future after a portrayal of a character in a series like First Kill. They're over. No more bloody noses. We're already saved. That sub behind you brought me here. Aubin Wise has quite the voice. Aubin Wise has been cast in the series to portray the role of Talia, and you might be wondering where have you seen Aubin? Well, she might look familiar to everyone who's a lover of Broadway musicals. She's an original member of the Hamilton Chicago cast, playing the roles of Peggy Schuyler and Maria Reynolds, while also covering the roles of Eliza and Angelica Schuyler. Her dedication to her work can be seen as she was so consistent in the work that she stayed until her seventh month of pregnancy on the project she was working on at the moment, after which she went to reprise her dual roles on Broadway until COVID-19 shut down the production. And I see what we were, have to Singer and performer MKXYZ is also starring. 
Another person who will be joining the wonderful cast of First Kill is MKXYZ. She'll be playing the role of Tess in the Netflix vampire series, widely known for her hit single Pass It. Featuring G-Eazy, MKXYZ released her debut album entitled Sweet Spot in May 2021. She was also one of the cast members to post candid First Kill cast shots on her Instagram account in June 2021, a picture that shows the cast is having a lot of fun filming the scenes of the series. Can't pass it. Savannah Shooting Location The series was supposed to be shot on location in Savannah, California, many scenes. However, the crew managed to do just part of them. However, in May 2021, the production company's permit to shoot in Colonial Park Cemetery was revoked after it was reported that the protection plan to preserve the resting place while filming was violated. Now, why are we mentioning this place? Well, because even if few scenes were filmed at this location, the show has to be good, like many other movies, and series have shot some of their scenes here, including the likes of Forrest Gump, Glory, The Last Song, and Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. In Good Hands Felicia Anderson has a BA in Psychobiology from UCLA and an MBA in Corporate Finance from the University of Georgia. In her life, she has received a fellowship to study network television management, and because of that, she began her career as a creative associate at NBC shortly after. In her career, she has written for a variety of television shows over the years, including the 90s hits like Family Matters and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She has also served as a writer and co-producer for Moesha, Soul Food, Fringe, Gossip Girl, and Marvel's The Punisher series, so her work resume is quite packed. Thus, we have nothing to worry about the series, as it is clearly in good hands, all should be according to plan and executed to perfection. A Lesbian Love Story First Kill, as we said before, is about a teenage vampire, Juliet, who has to make her very first kill to be accepted by the powerful family of vampires, and she decides to take Calliope as her target, a new girl in town who also happens to be a vampire hunter too. During the struggle that ensues, the two fall in love with each other, making things even more difficult. Knowing this and the fact that Schwab is at the helm of things, who came out in her 20s, we'll get one hell of a story, with Schwab adding that writing about LGBTQ characters has helped her embrace her sexuality, which also means that she'll give us the most precise interpretations of the characters and their development in the series. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the series and which characters starring in it are you most looking forward to seeing in his or her particular role. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.